Well, the crime and mystery fiction genre is wildly popular. I think it's fair to say that many American readers are obsessed with whodunits and crime novels. Left Coast Crime is an annual mystery convention sponsored by mystery fans, readers, and authors. And get this, the April convention will take place in Bellevue this year. And here to share more is a man who knows all about our insatiable need for crime and mystery fiction, a local author who just happens to be a New York Times bestseller. Welcome to New Day, Robert Dagoni. We are so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So you're the author of 30 novels, 25 crime novels. Tell me how you got started in this genre. Uh, I was a lawyer. I practiced law in San Francisco for about mm, 13, 15 years. Came up here and practiced law up here. And, um, you know, it was just something I, I fell into. I started out writing legal thrillers. And I switched over when I met um, Seattle's first female homicide detective. Oh, wow. And she was a real inspiration for me. And she became the character of Tracy Crosswhite, which is my Tracy Crosswhite series. That is so cool. Yeah. She, so let's talk about your latest release, Killing on the Hill. Tell me about it. Really excited about this one. I don't get this way often, but I'm really excited about this book. Uh, I'm in the attic at home. I'm cleaning it out, and I find these big scrapbooks. And inside are all these articles from 1933. And in, the, in there is The Trial of the Century. 1933, The Trial of the Century, a light heavyweight boxer named Frankie Ray is shot in a nightclub. Uh, by a gangster. Now think about it, it's the Great Depression, right. it's bootlegging, it's prostitution, it's the old wharf down there, it's everything you'd want in, uh, in, a, in a book. And the killing took place at the Pom Pom nightclub on Profanity Hill, <laughs> which is now Pill Hill. Yeah. Because they used to have the courthouse mm -hmm. up there. So in any, I just, I fell in love with, with these uh, uh, scrapbooks. They were my wife's grandfather's no, and it was, was his case, oh, wow. the trial of the century. They try this case, and it, it's it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal story, and I, I can say that because I didn't make it up. Right? Yeah, and you, it must be so cool for your wife too that knows that part of her grandfather is now yeah, in this. Yeah, she's as well. was always been very very close to her grandfather. So oh. this has really been a, a, a it's a passion project. That is really neat, getting the inside look of what inspires a writer. I love that. I love finding out where you go from it. Can I just ask a little bit about your process sure, in writing? Sure. How does it go? Do you come up with an outline? Do you? What do you do? I, I am not an outliner. Uh, um, if I'd been a better outliner, I'd probably still be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I write from the seat of my pants. I'm called an organic writer. Uh -huh. And my first draft is one of those just let it out, just go, yeah. and just don't try to edit it, don't try to think too much, get it out on the page, make the characters real, go, 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 and then when I get to the end, that first draft becomes sort of, okay, now I go back and I start to edit it and I, and I look through it, and for me it works better. Mm -hmm. It I love that. Yeah, it doesn't work for everybody, but for me it works better. Because it just kind of writes as you go. Well, I don't stop to edit, and that's where the create, creative process comes from. You know, yep. people talk about characters speaking in your head. Yeah. And I think you have to put yourself in a place to allow them to do that. And if you're, if you're editing, you know, while you're trying to just let them tell the story. You kill the juice. You kill the juice, yeah. You kill the juice. Um, what do you think it is about crime and mystery genre that is so popular with people? Why are we so interested? I always go back to my dad. Uh, my dad loved old mystery movies, and I'd be home with him, and he'd say, did you see this? Did you see this? <laughs> did you see the gun on the table? You know, he'd, he'd be prompting me, and I'd be like, Dad, let me watch the show. Yeah. I think people love puzzles. I yeah. think people like to try to outsmart the author. You know, I got it. I figured it out. Yeah. And, then, and then when they didn't, that's the big surprise. When yeah. the twist at the end hits, they're like, wow. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, you got me. Yeah. You're good, you. <laughs> I love that. So let's talk about the Left Coast Convention because it's so cool. It's in our neck of the woods. What happens at one of these conventions? So it's really a fan conference, and it's, a, it's an opportunity for, for some of the giants in the industry, Megan Abbott, Lee Goldberg, uh, Lori King, um, Wanda Morris. They all, we get together, and we have panels and discussions about you know, what we're writing, what's going on in, in the crime world. And then readers, fans, are able to come and be there and sit down with us at, at panels or at uh, lunches and, and just get an opportunity to sort of to talk to us and, and um, see what we're doing, what we're working on, what's coming next. What a gift, especially if maybe, say, someone's a huge fan of yours, but they want to branch out and they go find new authors to celebrate. I think that's such a cool thing. It's, there's always the next person coming up, right? Yeah. There's always the next Stephen King. There's always the next <laughs> so-and-so. And so it's fun. 
Yeah. I, I, speaking of Stephen King, I know that you said he is one of your all-time favorite writers. Why is that? I think what I admire most about the man is he can write anything and make it sound interesting. Wow. I mean, he can write the phone book and I would read it. <laughs> He's just, his breadth of the green miles of fabulous, 112263. I mean, he has so many just, in the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, yeah. It's People so forget many. that that is Stephen. People think he's a horror writer. Right. He's not. He is a writer. He's a writer. A very good one at that. You are as well. You're being honored for your work. A guest of honor. Where do you find, as a guest of honor, where do you find your inspiration? I know that for this novel mm -hmm. you found it in an old scrapbook. But overall, where do you find it when you're writing it in your head? You know, that's, it's, it's hard to kind of pinpoint that. It's, sometimes it can be a, an article in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'd be something I see on television. Um, sometimes it's something that somebody just says to me. I got a call from a guy one day, and it turns out he said he was a former CIA officer, and would I be interested in, telling, in him helping me with an idea that, it, that uh, he had read in one of my books. Really? I met him for lunch, and uh, he was the real deal. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So a, a lot of different things can kind of happen. Um, in uh, Her Deadly Game, which mm -hmm. is a new series for me, I had this idea of telling a story that took place sort of like a chess match. Yeah. So I made the main character a chess prodigy. And then I called up a local guy here, Elliot Neff, who runs um, Chess's Life. And I said, can you help me? And he, he put together a whole chess game for me. And so when people read the book, if they're chess people, they're out there really trying to figure out what right. happened and, and if it's a real game and it is it's a real game that's phenomenal yeah. that you have you bringing in the experts so that people know that it's really well researched yeah i think that's really interesting it's got to be the hard part of, of doing something that maybe not ripped from the headlines per se but when you're borrowing things because um, you were an attorney but not a police officer correct do you have to do a lot of research when it comes to investigations i do and you know the really wonderful thing is people are so generous you know you call somebody up and you say can i talk to you about your career can I talk to you about what you do for a living? Yeah. And I've yet to have anybody say no. Everybody is so helpful and say, what do you need? And so, like I said, I, um, I met Seattle's first female homicide detective, and then she introduced me to the people at the, the CSI, um, the forensic people, um, man trackers, they call them, yeah. you know, the people that found all of Gary Ridgway's bodies. Yes. All those, so they, it, it's, for me, it's fascinating. I am, I am completely fascinated. I'm glad to hear that people have been so generous because yeah. it really comes out as such a gift in a wonderful book. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks Cannot wait to go check out the Left Coast Convention. Thank you very much. My pleasure. All right. So remember that Left Coast Crime Convention 2024 Seattle Shakedown, which is such a cool name, is April 11th through the 14th in Bellevue. And we're going to have ticket information on our website. So you just go there and we'll make it easy for you.